All right, so with this little lesson, we're going to talk about something called Cushing's Triad. Now, everyone, get out a piece of paper and work through as we go over what the three components of Cushing's Triad are. And if you can remember this drawing that you're going to create, it'll really help you in the field when you see someone who's experiencing it. So first, draw something that kind of resembles a skull. And then put a squiggly line for the mouth. And then do what would be the crossbones by drawing a couple arrows. And I want you to label the one going up as blood pressure and label the one going down as heart rate. So the three components of Cushing's triad are an increase in systolic blood pressure, a decrease in heart rate, and a decrease in respirations. Now with Cushing's triad you can also see irregular respiratory patterns. It's not just someone who's breathing slow. And the key thing to keep in mind here is that Cushing's triad is the opposite of what someone who's in shock is experiencing. So we look at Cushing's triad because it helps us in the field see that there's a potential for increased intracranial pressure. Now someone who's in shock is going to typically have the exact opposite of these three signs. They'd be experiencing a decrease in blood pressure, an increase in heart rate, and usually an increase in respirations as well. So if you can remember this drawing, it will help you out in the field.